Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the latest episode of Descent in Avernus. I would like to make this uh, post edit video before I end because during editing to repost the live stream, I noticed that my camera was totally pixelated and just straight out garbage. And if anybody doesn't know, I use my phone as a second camera because my fancier co uh, camera is used for um, the actual battle scene so you can see those much better. Um, so that's the only issue with this video, um, going forward, I think I'm going to go back to my Logitech Brio and hope that's better because I don't know, the program I've been using for my phone is I have to keep reinstalling it every, like almost every day. If I want to use my phone for a camera, it, it's just, I don't know, it's getting to be a hassle more than it's only reason I was using my phone so I can zoom in where I couldn't do it on Logitech Brio. So that's the only reason. So I don't know. Uh, that stream, I'll, I'll have something figured out for you guys. So anyway, that's the only issue for this stream. So I apologize for that and enjoy the stream. All right. It's not stream. Video. Enjoy the video. Thank you. Have a great day. Welcome back to the channel to Goblets and Warlots. Uh, today's is episode 11 of Descent into Avernus. And thank you for joining us. Um, first off and foremost, uh, I'd like to thank Adrian John Ziegler for all his music and wonderful sounds he's thought out to everybody to use for copyright free. I appreciate it. Love you very much. Um, let's see. Uh, second of all, we have a link down to the description for Discord. I just scored. We have... Uh, started uh getting more people in so if you're a dm looking for players or players looking for a dm please join uh we're creating this massive hub for people that need to find games or wanting to find games but that being said i'm also starting another icewind dale campaign it will be starting on sundays it will be the 25th no wait 28th right yeah 28th is our first episode so we'll be starting that one. And then I also have another one on Thursday nights where we'll be recording. That won't be not be live. Um, but that will still be posted too. And then uh, Laban also is going to have uh, a couple of games going. One's going to be streamed also on Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. That, that one's going to be a bi-weekly game. So for my Sunday game, I'm trying to make a weekly game up until I know I have to go to nights and it has to go to bi-weekly. But until then, that's what we're shooting for. Uh, also, sweet down, get you some sweet merch, um, some goblets and warlocks t shirts. Maybe my lovely band of people here might get some eventually, but you know, <laughs> so it's not just me branding it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can get some of that. That goes back and helps out the stream and helps us, helps me build all these wonderful sets that you can see um, or anything I need to add to the stream. And uh, again, I also like to apologize for a little bit, another late start. Uh, we, I switched all streaming duties over to Jenny, so she had to work out some kinks there. But we got that going, so does anybody else have any announcements they would like to put out? I think I covered everything. Or is there something that I... There's always something I miss later or something. I always do. Never fails. Oh, well, before we get started, let's go ahead and roll our, um, you know, rolls to see who's doing recap. And also... That's also part now since I just thought about it. So from here going forward out, whoever rolls the lowest on their um, roll for a recap, I'm also going to use that of out of combat initiative. So what that means is anybody doing any social actions, whatever, say the party splits up or something, it'll be it'll go in order. It also helps me track who to focus on if the party split up. So I'm not focusing too far on one. Uh, let me get back to the Discord for some reason. Not on the channel I need to be. So what we got? We got... Do you, uh, do you want to run the intro first, or do we usually do it after? Oh, I was just doing this part. Then we can run the intro. Okay. I'm just trying to see who's going to do our recap, and then we can go right into it. I rolled a 16. I know. I got... So I got, I got Aaron at 8. Lehman is at 16. Obi is 11, so I just need Dominosis and Jenny's. 18. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like Green will be doing a recap in the yeah, eyes of her great. character. So without further, without further ado, 
sit down. Please. Let's whip it out. Oh my gosh. What the heck? And welcome back, uh, Jenny or Greenlea. Would you lead us in tonight? So, a recap. I'll find my pencil. Of course, I've definitely, definitely spent a lot of time recapping in my brain what we did last week. Okay, or last time. Um. So, Amrick ran away. Thought he was slick. So Shadow and I, uh. We're running after him. Um, we did a series of sort of checks as a group trying to trace him. Finally, we caught him. I tied him up. I was like, yes, I got you. But then he was too strong and he busted out and took off again. Anyway, it was a whole big thing. Uh, then uh, he escaped and uh, we went to uh Dominos's house. Dominos let us stay at his place. Uh we let Thalin go uh scout invisibly. Um while we kind of hung out at Dominos's house, he came back, gave us a report. He said that there was a bunch of guards and uh we all decided that it was a great idea to go back and uh scout for ourselves and um Elwood could not resist getting his little sword from the blacksmith. So he went and walked off to get his sword with Shadow while the rest of us went and scouted. Um, Dallin turned invisible, had trouble getting over the wall. So Meliodas and Dominos tried to help him and then he fell and then the guards came out and then I lost my dog, my pretend dog, Samuel. And we tried to distract the guards. That didn't work. They saw Meliodas. So they started chasing him. So now he's running around the villa or whatever it is running around and the guards are chasing him meanwhile uh adira and i are disguised as just like regular people and that one's invisible and it's a big old cluster uh so that's where we're at that i don't know what that one's doing adira and i are like maybe we'll walk in we don't know what's going on we're it's a hot mess that's all i know <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of uh, Elwood, can you tell me what y'all doing since uh... we're not the blacksmith yet? Nope. Well, what would you like so, to do? Just while I'm walking there, Ray and I are talking. What are you talking to her about? I'm like, Ray, how do you feel about being naked? <laughs> and I don't mean, I mean in general. Not with me. I don't want, I don't care if you're naked. I don't care if you see me naked though, but that's a different story. <laughs> well, that's a natural 19 for a hit. Take four points of damage as she gives you the biggest bitch slap right across the face as you say that. This is what I'm talking about. People have problems with people being naked. You just don't say that to a lady. I don't consider Shut you your a mouth lady on the way there. That. I don't want to I don't even <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> I 
Laban's got a fanboy. Now he's, <laughs> he's just like put on a show a bit more. <laughs> All righty. Uh, you made a little bit more way time. All right. I guess uh, I should just go ahead and go right back into uh, the scene here. So give you a countdown, Grinlia. Three, two, one. All right, so I have not adjusted anything. Domino's still looks like a box over in the corner. Um, Domino's, or not Domino's, uh, Melodis is still getting like chased around the building, seems like. Um, Alan went up the steps that's still invisible, sees five guards, and steps out. And then uh, who steps out of his room is um, Amrick. So let's start there. So Fallon, what would you like to do? The guard heard a crick on the steps and he turned it turned to walk down saying, Who's there? And that's about the time that um Hammer came out of his bedroom. <clears throat> so, so is that door across the hall blocked, or can I sort of very quickly walk across the hallway into that door like, directly? Uh, You'd be trying to there's not much room. Okay. Because you got a guard standing right in front of you. Here, I'll mm -hmm. zoom in for you. This guard had moved up to check. Right. Uh, I might have to just very slowly. I forget that. So yeah, I don't know if you heard me. So I forget the mic was over there. So as you were starting to come up, the guards heard the noise and walked towards right top of the stairs. So that's what you look like. So you can try, but there's not much room. And even though you're invisible, you can still feel you if you touch him. Okay, I, I want to try and sort of sneak past and just get like go into that doorway across the hall. Uh, Throw me a stealth check with disadvantage because there's literally no room. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. And by the way, this is the balcony, not a room. You're yeah. going out in the balcony. Oh no. Oh no. That's an 11. I can't make this crap up. So he rolled the natural two. So this guy is so distracted because he like startled that uh that um Amrit stepped out of his room, so he wanted to get back on post. So he moved out of the way just in time for you to get up there. So you're at the door. Nice. So can, can I just go through out onto the balcony and then just sort of keep an eye out on what's happening in the main room? Like it is right in the corridor. So let me let me get this straight. You're gonna open a door with two guards right there. Oh, I didn't realize the door was closed. Ah. Yeah, it's complete. It's shut. It's not open. Okay. All right. I, then I'm just gonna sort of press myself into that corner and just stay there, stationary. Which corner? The one where the guards at now? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, guard is there. That's a good point. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna press myself against the wall then. Which is like as flat against the wall as I can be. And just hope nobody notices. <laughs> are you going to push yourself up against what wall? This wall back over here? Or are you going to stay in front of the door? Uh, the, yeah, the wall that's like just next to the door there. <laughs> There's a guard on each side of the door there, bud. So. <laughs> oh, on each side? Yeah. Uh, you got a guard right here. This right yeah. here is the door. So you got a guard here and you got a guard right here. Okay. Then I Just let you know, so. there's five doors up here and there's a guard standing beside each one of them. No. Mm, I didn't really think so. Um, I'll just press up like against the door itself then. All right. With that being said, Hammer comes out. All right, guys. Keep your eyes open for that group that was chasing me. 
I'm going to head down to find my mother. As he starts walking. Well, cut to Andrea. She's still shaped like a box. Chip him until he falls down the stairs. <laughs> anyway, Andreas, what would you like to do? Yeah. Still- are there still like guards around or are they all around? Currently the not at this <laughs> moment. You saw them chasing <laughs> Mel Otis around the building. Okay. Back out for it. Okay. So you're over here in this you're hiding in an illusionary box. Yeah. yeah. Last you saw they chased around the building. Can I get through that door, or is it locked? This door right here? Yeah. So you're dropping your illusion? Yeah. You run up to the door. Open. You want to go through it, or what? Yeah, I want to go through it. Close it behind me. Right. Where do you want to go? Um, what what do I see in front of me? Is it just a wall or? Uh, you see two doors. You got a single door and you see a bigger door that looks like it might be bigger for um, um, deliveries. Okay. So you, you see a single door, like you can see that's the front door. Then you have a bigger door to the uh, right that mm-hmm. looks like it's double for like any like big deliveries that yeah. might be delivered. Can I see whether the big uh, delivery door is open? <laughs> and with this, I destroy the whole building and yes. Emmerich and everyone inside. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll add it later. We come back to them. So you run up. This is the door, and this is a single door. Uh, this was already open. Uh, you don't know what's going on in here. Yeah. But yeah, this is the double door. As you go do it, it doesn't seem to be locked. You're going to go through it? Yeah, I want to peek through first. So just open it very slightly and have a little peek. Have a little peek. As you're doing this, this guy wearing like a butler outfit starts walking through this door. Did he see me? Trying to do it stealthily? Yeah, my my peek very stealthily. Give me a stealth check. Uh, That's a 17. Well, he rolled an 18. Um, he doesn't see you, but he hears the door jiggle. Hmm. Anyone in there? And he's already startled because this bat door was, you heard this bat door, or he saw it hmm. open. He starts walking to it. What do you do? Um, I'm a one trick pony, so I turn myself into a box. <laughs> but it, oh, that makes <laughs> That might make sense. All right, you're back being a box. Yeah. Can we call you Solid Snake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as this guy opens up, as you heard something, oh, a box has been delivered. I'll get that later. Or have the guards come get it. He shuts the back. He shuts the door back. And then uh, on the thing, where he did Elwood, Elwood, you're still going to the. I'll, I'll say you just now make it to the gates to go to lower base. Or lower base, I said lower base. Lower lower city. See the so same I'm 20 guards walking. on post. Huh? We're yep, still you're still walking. walking. Remember, you're in the upper city. You decided to go get a blade in lower city, so... Okay, yeah. so, I, I, so I said to Ray, I was like, you know what's the worst thing uh, people can do in life? What? Just think about it. Like, it's, it's a serious question. What's the worst thing you think someone can do to another person? 
Uh, I could slit your throat. Does that count? Murder is bad. Yes. But there's real, there's laws and rules about that. Something. So it's something that there's no law about. Uh, slitting your throat and hiding the body. Hate hating people is the worst thing that anyone can ever do. I uh, pretty. Uh, well, I guess I hate you, so I guess that's the worst thing I can do. Yep, yeah, that, that's okay though. I forgive you. You forgive me. I forgive you. Shadow, <laughs> bite off a finger. No, it's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> and we keep walking. I'm. She's so pissed off she misses her hit. Well, <laughs> Otis. Should be fun. Yes. Right, last we left off, you're running through a bunch of guards. What are you doing? You still running? Uh, so I've done one whole sprint around the compound, right? Yep. And you have a level of exhaustion, and these two people have a level of exhaustion, but you don't know that because you're full sprinting the other way. Right. Right. But uh, now I've got a team of them uh, sprinting at me, and some of them don't have a level of exhaustion. So at this point, I'm going to slow down and uh, I'm going to pretty much wait for them to see what they have to say. All right. So you're pretty much stopping right there. Yep. All right. You there. Yes. How can I be of assistance, sir? Yes, this is you've been running from us for about, you know, about five, ten minutes now. Well, I mean, I, I was taking my, uh, you know, regular jog and this compound seemed big enough. So I decided to go around it a few times. <laughs> Thought I heard some uh, yelling, <laughs> but I didn't check know with disadvantage. Because they don't believe you for one crack because you're wearing full plate armor to do a jog. <laughs> Well, I mean, he is a paladin. I don't know that. I'm a knight of the order. They make us run in our full gear. Did you roll this? Did you roll your deception check? I'm still trying to get my uh, my left computer screen up here. Uh, it <laughs> literally just died on me. That's why you saw my hand, my hand going back and forth. Uh, literally just died as we <laughs> had that conversation. Oh, uh, yeah, we're only course. live. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's not like how your computer died on us last week in the middle of a session. Touche. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get this. But that happened one time. This is an ongoing issue for you. <laughs> Now, uh, I, I don't know. I, this gaming computer screen, I don't know why it does that. Oh, now, why did it separate the views? All right, I'm going to put two over here. All right, roll a disadvantage of... Uh, Deception. Deception. All right. Any day now, roll. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, yeah. You would think that. Ooh. Oh my god, that's terrible. Hey, this is one Emmerich, one of the ones that Emmerich warners about. Yes, uh, it fits the description. I don't know what you're Take speaking Take him into custody. About. I don't know what you're speaking of. Hush, <clears throat> you varmint. Kill him. So now they surround you. Well, considering uh, considering they out they outmatch me at this point, or I feel like I'm I'm outmatched by numbers. I'm uh, I'm not going to struggle. If you have an AC of twenty, I would fight. They literally have to get a critical to hit you. Again, I'm going to. Hold off and be a smart person, not always want to. Bless yourself. Elwood, you're not there. 
<laughs> I'm not all in. Thank you, <laughs> Elway. Not everything needs to be a fight. All right. And that's what I was thinking in my head when somehow consciously he popped in and said, fight him. <laughs> So you uh, release your shield and spear and turn yourself over. Yes. All right. Okay. Alan, you're still upstairs. He's going downstairs. He's going downstairs. I'm going to follow behind him. I think just very carefully watching my feet, just trying to be light on my feet, not creaking any footsteps, just sort of like stepping in time with him so that it doesn't make any extra sound. I'm just going to follow him now. <clears throat> Alrighty. So he's going downstairs. I don't know where the other he went. Say that again. I said I'll use that one because I don't know where the mm. unseen servant went. <laughs> so yeah, he's just walking downstairs. It's about as far as they go for this turn. Are you still following? Yeah. Staying there? I'll uh I'll uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll stay there for now. Alrighty. Uh, let's just do Adira and Greenlea since y'all still uh, by self across the way. You s about this time you see them bringing back uh, tackles. Again. What do y'all do? Um, I will continue to frantically search for Samuel but also be keeping an, half an eye on them seeing what they do with Mo Adara? Same thing? Yep, same thing. I'll be helping join her search for Samuel. Samuel? I know you were just here. Where'd you go? Oh, I miss you, darling. Come back to me, Samuel. I'm like picking up crates. You know, I, I swear maybe he went just just a little bit closer to that um, edge down there. Maybe we check by the stables again. He could be on the outside of the walls. Oh, good idea, Samuel! And I start, like, walking that way, keeping an but eye. You see them, take them inside, shut the doors. They leave these two that's like, kind of exhausted a little bit, uh, standing outside the door, guarding it. They shut the door behind, take them inside. All right, uh, back to top around, Andreas. You're still a box. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> you said he was like about to leave the room earlier. Can I assume? Uh, no, he was coming. Com he was coming in the room. He was coming in because he he just came from uh, closing the, this door and uh, went inside. Fair enough. Can I make my way down to the other door then? That you mentioned. Oh, that's literally right next to it. Okay. The There's no more doors same. on this side. The only other door is in the back. Okay. Yeah. If, if the other door leads to the same room, then I would go to okay. the other one in the back. Which way are you going to go? Uh, down. That way or this way? Uh, so, yeah, that way. You're no longer a bots again? Yeah. Alright. All right. About 30 feet, right? I guess about right there. Are you dashing? No, no I'm not dashing. Okay. I think I will... Um, if I don't make it to the door, I will make use of my... Box trick. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty. Ah, Elwood. Yeah, I say you probably made it through the gates now. I 
Are we there yet? No, we just made through the gates. Okay, we keep walking. All right. Just give you a heads up. You probably won't make it back unless they stop and wait for you or something. While they're doing stuff, you're still walking. That's cool. Uh, Metal Otis is not here, but I'll say what happens. So take Metal Otis. Uh, a couple of them take him down. Uh, you're going to take him down out of sight. Y'all don't know where he went. Listen to. Oh, I'll say these two are inside. Took them down, and then this one will be watching this door right here. Alrighty, Alan. As he turns this to go through the store, are you following? I'm assuming. Yeah, so you're gonna keep following. Alrighty. All right, I walk in the door, which doesn't open, but walks to the store and he walks into the kitchen. So can I, wait, it, he's opened the door into the kitchen. Can I follow him in and just sort of slip through as the door's closing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get her. As he walks in, uh, he says, "She, uh, the cook in there says, oh, Master Amberick, how you doing? Hope everything's good today. Hope dinner will be really shortly, so. Thank you, Gabri. I'm going down to see my mother. All right, all right, sir. And he keeps going through through this door over here. Not that door. Oop, the stuff moved. There's two doors in here. You used to have a door to the left and door to the right. And you're inside. Go goes through this door. Out through here. Are you still following? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm in this, this far. I'll keep following him. All right. She turns to go back to cooking. Uh, we'll say that's about far as for that round. All right, ready. Aaron and Jenny, you still across the way, still disguised. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're going along the perimeter, I guess, just after Meliodas disappeared. I guess we'll just continue down toward where the stables are. Right? Isn't that in the up? I think so. Yep, down on that lower edge right there. Yeah. Yeah, so the only way into the the only way into the stables is this door right here. Mm-hmm. That y'all saw earlier. So you're going in the door is just going around. Um I feel like I feel like we're just trying to see as much as possible. Yeah, so we're just going like around on the outside. Yeah. As y'all go around the bend, the guards pay you no mind because they don't care about Samuel at all. Rude. That is very <laughs> sad. Dog. Poor Samuel. So you're about right here. Uh, are you want to dash or keep going? Here. You want to uh, dash to get further down? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get a little bit further down. All right. About right, right there. Sure. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, back to top around, Dominoes. You're still over in the bots. Yeah. Am I close to the other door now? Or oh, is it on the other side? It's on the other side. This is the other door. Okay. You're in front of a window over there. Ah, nice. Can I peek through that one? All right. All right. I guess you're out of the bots again. Yeah. Window. You 
You see a fancy chair um, and a table and two chairs. Just like kind of looks like a uh, like a little like her meeting, like where she greets guests and everything. I guess not a foyer, but but it's like just like somewhere where the people have meetings. Okay. Can I open that window? Sure. Can I open it and sneak in? Yeah, roll me a stealth check to see how quiet you are. At uh, 21? Yeah, huh? Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. Stealthy today. Uh, what you can see is this uh is it looks like a parlor parlor room. Hmm. You're inside. Yeah, I make sure to close the window behind me as well. I counted that part as your twenty one. Ah, okay. Let's see what else let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh See a tapestry hanging on the north wall depicts a burning angels falling from the sky into a pit of fire. <laughs> Looks like it weighs about five pounds. Mm, can I inspect that a bit closer? Maybe I know what it's about. Maybe mm. give some hints to whatever game they play. Um, you you haven't heard the story yet, so you wouldn't know. Mm. But when you expect it, you can tell it's worth a bit of money. Hmm. Roll it up and take it. Yeah, I will take it with me. All right, you can add a test free of what I just said. It's worth 150 gold pieces. You can add that to your other things. So we'll move on. I'll say that's about all you can do. Uh, Elwood, you're still walking. Do you want to talk to her or try to talk to her again? I'll talk to Shadow and just like pet him on the head and rub his ear and like, you're such a good boy. He there needs to be more good boys approval. like that in the he world. He can't talk to you because you're not, you're not Grinlia, so. That's okay. I think we have an understanding of each other. I mean, you did give him food when he was starving when he first exactly. met him. Exactly. He's a good right, boy. Metal, is you back? All right. So they drag you down to the cellar. Actually, around about the same time. Um, actually, no. Because it'd be coming in after. So you're getting dragged through the house right now. You don't know where you're getting taken to yet. Are you resisting or just... I'm not resisting. My whole point of having gotten captured at that point was to have all allowed everyone else to have the time to get in. And then now I'm doing more observing than anything else as they're uh, taking me in. All right. So right now you're getting dragged through the foyer and about to be taken in through the kitchen. Okay. Alan, at this time, you see them dragging uh, Mel Otis in handcuffs and you're still invisible. So mm -hmm. what do you do? So yeah, I, I look over my shoulder, I see that happening behind me, but at this point, um, I've got a one-track mind, I'm following Amrit, it, you know, th this is this is my target for today, that's something uh, I can deal with later. You see Amrit go into the door, he's still following him? Yeah. yeah. He, he's opening a trap door, and entering the trap door. Does he close it behind him? Yeah, yes, he closes it behind him. Okay. But so, you can safe to say that's probably where they're taking Mel Otis because they're bringing him right behind him. Right. So I might wait. Uh, All right. You're going to wait here off into the side? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to sort of yeah, wait off to the side, wait for them to bring him through. And I'll... All right. Uh, then that brings us to Adira and Grinlia. All right. Um, how high is this fence? It's ten feet, right? It's quite quite high. You're muted, Grinlinger. What? 
sorry. The fence is about 10 feet high, you said? Yep, All about right. 10 feet high. I'm pretty tall. Could I reach yeah. if I wanted to, of course. Yeah. Could I reach yeah. my hand up and get to the top of the wall? Probably. All right. I wouldn't I don't say why not. Okay. Um well, actually no, you're in your uh, you're in you're still in disguise self, right? Yes. I am still. Yes, I am. So would you still be able to reach if you're you took the size of a commoner? Uh, I'm not sure how that spell I works. Think I, this, I think it's just illusory. Like you still Yeah, you, you can reach anyone... through your so basically you see somebody reaching up, but your actual hand comes out of the illusory. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah, I think it's like if anyone like touched, they would see that it's not exactly accurate. I think is how it works. I can look. Yeah, it that's up. correct. Okay. Um, but since you took the form of normal size self, I'm saying that when you reach up, your hands reach out of the form. Just because that's what I picture in my head. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna move away from the building, like across the street, if I can. Or with a you going back to where you were, or are you no, back no, to the like other side? Straight, like we're right by the just fence. crossing the road. Yeah, yeah, just across the road, away from the building. You're just right so here, right so there. you gonna go this side? Cause you're right here. So the road, there's. Got the road back here, and you got another road on that side. So we have to continue down the side. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, then yeah, I guess we'll go back toward the stables, and I'll uh, I'll look at a deer, and I'll go. All right, listen. I could probably just like kind of reach up and just sort of toss over that smoke thing if you want to try and lure the guards over here, and then maybe we can run around and get in the door. What do you think? I mean, if you think you could get it up there, it's... I do, like, a casual, like, uh, and I just, like, do a little test to see if I actually can reach. Yeah, you can reach. Awesome! Yeah, look, I could totally do it. Why do Only see? because you're, like, oh, seven foot tall. Well. Or almost eight foot. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the little smoke bomb out of my bag and hand it over to Grinlia just because she's, you know, got a little more reach on me. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try and put the smoke thing over right in front of the, I guess it'll have to be in front of the stable door. Just gently, kind of like, boop, boop it over, you know. Give me a strength check. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, here we go. See if you can heave it. 10 or higher, I'll say you can do it. Under 10, you can't. Okay, well, I've only got one minus one, so... Eight. Here we go. I'm going to roll really well. I can feel it. Oh, all right. 14. And it lands about right here, and it detonates. And then immediately run, 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 dear, run. Other, go to the other door. Yeah, toward Wait, that what? lower door. This one. How's she getting over? Oh, no, we're no. not climbing over. We're running. We're not climbing over. We're running straight to the other door that's directly across from the stable door. Oh, this side. Got you? It. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll say that's about as far as you can get right now. These guys turn around like, what the? These guys actually see it too. It's, they can hear a crash because you know it's concrete and it's glass that breaks. They see this. Hey, alert! Hey, who goes there? All right, we're back at Andreas or Dominos. We're inside. Woo! Uh, is there a door like in front of me or anything? It leads to another room. Yep, there's a door right here. Then you have another door right here. Can I uh, have a check of the door that is like opposite me, opposite from the window I came in, so, so to the left on the screen? Yep. 
Is that one open? Or Yes, you're inside. Pretty much all the doors are going to be open. So yeah, open. You're you open. Know. Can, can I have a sneak through that as well? Like a stealthy sneak? Uh, roll me a stealth check. Eighteen. Oh yeah, Don't get Doing through without a sound. Thing. Being one with the shadows. What do I see in there? Uh, you see it. Let's see. You see. Uh, an iron right chandelier. Uh, hangs down above a black oak dining table surrounded by eight chairs, which I'll only put like sits, whatever. So they're six chairs. Uh, card looks like devils. Uh, fireplace. There's a fireplace on the uh, opposite a wall of you. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, is a fireplace do uh, uh, dominates one wall. I'm sorry. Blinked by red curtain windows there's like two windows on each side which I only put one because I ain't got enough stuff to build it so use your imagination uh, a handsome glass door wine cabinet it stands against uh, one wall so there's a cabinet over here which you can probably tell that's probably where to keep glass yeah. well okay what, what did you and say as you yeah. enter this room These three imps jumped down that were invisible, but no longer are. Ah! Intruder! 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 Roll me initiative there, Dominos. Oof. Oh, yeah. Nine. All right. <clears throat> Uh, edit because I thought everybody being here, like you know, ruining this thing. So let me manage characters real, real quick. You're not there, not there, not there. great, not there. Ready. All right, running cap. All righty. And you got what? A nine. All righty. Your total hit point is... Yeah, uh, 34. We're not having music in my headset now. I'll just let you know that I rolled higher than you did. I had to see so. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this one runs up. Uh, I'm assuming seven doesn't hit you. No. So 
Uh, 14 hit? Yes. Cool. Uh, it takes seven piercing damage, and I need a constitution saving throw, DC 11. Uh, 11. Oh, you save. Whew. What? You're going to take half this damage. Half of the damage, okay. So, like, four damage? Uh, so, five reduced three, so take three points of damage. Those five damage reduce to three. Okay. Uh... Oh, yeah, you take uh, three poison damage, but you're not poisoned, thankfully. Okay. And then the uh, last guy. Oh, natural 20. Lovely. Right. Take nine points of damage and another constitution saving throw. Thirteen. That saves. Ooh. Take four points of poison damage. Good roll. Uh, I have you eleven health. Yes. All right. And it is now your turn. Yeah. So first of all, from the first one who attacked me, I would use my um, hellish rebuke. So, because he damaged me, I can throw something back at him. Okay. He has to do a dexterity saving throw, um, 14. Uh, he rolled a natural three, so I'm not even going to try to bother adding that up. So, how much is that? <laughs> um, he will now take three d10s of fire damage. Great, that's uh, 16. Let me see something. Actually, yes, saving throws of magic. Nice deal, fellas. Uh, Is fire damage? Yes. How much was it? Uh, 16. So you take eight points of fire damage. He's resistant. Nice. As you hit it, you feel like you should have done a lot more damage, but he pats it out like ah, a tickle. <laughs> All right, um, now it's your turn. Can Is I see? Mine? Can I see through the window behind them? Yes. Okay. Do I have to disengage for uh, Misty stepping? Yeah, we're, we're, we're missing stepping all the way out. All the way. Get the fuck out there. I guess you just outside of it and here in front of this guard. Hey! You uh, wouldn't believe what I've seen in there. You're one of the ones that Amrick told us about. Hit freeze right there. You still have your action. Uh, can I? You also see. You also see a cloud of smoke over here too. Like a smoke bomb that went off. But like we got all the smoke. Oh, that's convenient. Can I run towards oh, it? Oh wait. Got it. Run into it and you vanish. No. All right. Oh, that was interesting. 
And you start hearing people they're, 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 coming from inside the house. Uh, Elwood, I guess you're still walking. All right, uh, because this makes more sense, I'm gonna have Alan go first. But so he went downstairs. Um, and then Elotus, you get dragged down into a dungeon. For you, it's an overall clean looking dungeon, cleaner than you've seen. Like, it's more well kept. You're gonna take you down a long corridor. Um, Actually, no, they take you down to a room. Looks like a more like a storage room. They take you through another door. As you bring you through the door, they take you down another uh, long alley part and take you down into where cages are at. Okay, at this point, how many of the guards are surrounding me? Uh, two, you're in, you're in handcuffs or, or shackles and... Uh, Two guards will bring you down there, and at this point, Amrick is there too. And he says, Oh, you all are here. Nice. Let's have fun. Throw him in the jail cells. They're going to throw you in the jail cells unless you want to do something. Uh, are they uncuffing me as they throw me into the jail cell, or, or do they keep me cuffed? They're going to keep you cuffed and throw you in a jail cell. You know, I have you. Uh, how the with the you, you, you know how prisons are. They're gonna throw you in there, and then have you stick your hands out, and then they take it off. Okay. All right. So they take off my my uh, my cuffs, and then uh, basically at the point since they've already closed the door, uh, is uh, Amrick still right there? No. He's not. I mean, he's like he's at the door. He just ushered you in into the jail cell. There's let me. Pull it up real quick. So the as soon as you go in, there's uh one, two, three, four, five, six jail cells. That one to the left, to the right, and then there are four along the way. You can tell that a couple of them are occupied with people. But where they throw you into, you can't really see them either. For visual reference for you. Yeah. Uh. So you should be able to see this right here okay. where my mouse is. You're in this cell. Uh, okay. Awesome. And Am America's like right here. And there's a couple people in this. All right. So I'm not going to struggle. Obviously, I can't uh, break free without having keys. And uh, basically, uh, I don't have my weapons. So I'm going to hold off on doing anything dumb. Okay. For that case, Dan, if you want to go take care of your daughter, we can. Uh, Skip your action because you're not really doing anything at this moment. All righty, Alan, you see them go down the stairs. You follow until I'm assuming. Yeah, so I'm fine behind them. Okay. Um, how many? So how many guys? Yeah, I, I, I'll follow where they're going. You're they go still in that stairs? first room. Okay. Um, you got a lot of feedback in your mic, by the way. It's, it's noise outside my door. It's like, okay. Um, okay. So, so, uh, uh, so, am I in the room with all the jail cells in? Uh, I didn't say you were, but if you want to try to get there, but Amrit's going to be standing in the way of it. Okay, then I'll I'll hang back and I'll watch to see where Amrit's going. Okay. Uh, well. Or go your turn to your turn again. Uh, now we're back to our lovely ladies are sprinting to the other door now. I mean, what could go wrong, right? Yeah, right. Like, yeah. What are y'all doing? Running to the door. Yeah. Okay. Get to the door. 
to open. Yep, they don't want these. They patrol these areas. All right. Just How about this time? You... I'll, I'll give it to you because everything's happening within set seconds anyway. As you open it, you see Domino's dive into the smoke bomb, and while these guys are turning back, to look at the smoke bomb. Well, you hear snap. shouting and other. Uh, I look at Adira. We go in. I don't say it that loud, but do we go in? I whisper, stage whisper. And yeah, I mean, we might as well. What choice do we have at this point? Okay, I run toward the door, whatever the closest door is, if we can see one. Yeah, uh, the closest door is over here, but I don't think I went in far enough to see them yet. No, but we can run in to, and then uh, turn to our right. Yeah, let's. Go, we just would go the opposite way of where the guards are. Okay. Yeah, about right there with your it. movement. Yeah, against the wall. Sleep preferably. You know. This this wall or the building? The building. Building. Alright, if you go any further, you'd be in front of the window. Okay. We'll, we'll do we'll the crouch right arena. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's as far as your movement. You still oh, have okay. your deck. Okay. But cool. use your action, so yeah, that's it. Alright. I'm trying to keep everybody going at the same time. Oh, hard! Because y'all making it hard for me today. Andreas, you're now into this smoke cloud. Uh, do you have a uh, dark vision? Uh, yes. All right. You can still see, but everything is like grays and shadows mm -hmm. and stuff. So you're not completely blind. Oh, bomb. It's not darkness or anything. So. What would you like to do? Do I see some of the others anywhere? Well, that's the odd thing about the smoke bomb. You can't see out okay. by your inside. You can see like an immediate area of you. Mm -hmm. And all you heard was, them, hey, stop there. And then you still hear them coming. Um, can I go next to the door there? Yeah, like roughly there. Okay. And then just for the fans, turn into a box. <laughs> I like it. All right. We're up. Bots. I'm going to start calling bots. No wood. You're still walking. 26 I'm seconds. I'm talking to Shadow, just like nonstop talking, just like. You know, Shadow, that can be hard sometimes, but we just got to keep on trying. I will say this. Y'all have done this to yourselves. That is not me. <laughs> I anyway. have no idea what's going on. He's just, he's just talking about life in general. I don't want to know what happened to the plan we actually had thought out before all of this. Um, Toby, you still lurking? They, still, yeah. they leave the two guards posted up by the Email and um, Amrick is oh, waiting. He's uh, Amrick goes back down to the hallway and starts uh, going down back the way. No, he, he turn, comes out. I don't have this area built yet, so let me just go here so I can show you what I'm talking about. He comes out of the jail cells and he makes a left. The first. first. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zoom gave me a notification for some reason. All right. Uh, can you see the map? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you. When he comes out, he makes a first left and he goes mm -hmm. down the hall. Starts heading down the hallway. You're in the corner, far right corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the, so those two guards are still in the jail cells room. Yeah, two guards are standing outside the jail cell, just keeping watch. Okay. There's two guards that throw him into the stockade. I, I, so if they're blocking the door, there's no way I can get in. No. Without, okay. So I'm going to follow Amrick then. 
Are you going to follow Emmerich? All right. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you see him get down here. And uh, about right here. And then uh, we'll come back to you. Go back to somebody else. Mm -hmm. All righty. And do, 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 do. All right. Uh, and is left up. Oh, uh, back to my lovely ladies. They're hugging the wall. Okay, go until we get to the door, but we're gonna, like, you know, crawl or crouch under the door as we move. I mean, under the window, sorry, right? Like, what we're doing. We're crouching underneath the windows. <laughs> All right, you get to the door you got the single door again you see a single door you can tell it's like for main entrances and you see a double door that you can tell is like for like supplies and stuff yeah leaving with the crown and do we want to try to go for the smaller door i if it's the first one we came across i feel like we would try and go in right yeah because we don't want to be out here so yeah we're, we're unlocked it's just going through or knocking and what are you doing we're gonna try to like sneak through it. Yeah, sneak through it. Yeah. Uh, roll me a stealth check. All right. Disadvantage it this time because now the whole house is on alert. All right. Oh, well, at least we have passed out a trace still. Nineteen for me. Yeah, do I get it? That's no, redundant. Huh? Like a dumbass, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Oh, right. Uh, it doesn't click. matter because he rolled a natural twenty, and he's still sitting in there in the room. So as you open the door, whoopsies. Uh, I may I help you. Oh, hello. Have you seen Samuel? No, but you just go open people random doors. Oh, I thought oh, I, oh, I swear wait, I thought he was in here. You know whose house this is? No, but we we saw him run in here when your guards were bringing in supplies. I'm so so sorry. Are you sure you haven't seen bringing him? Bringing in supplies little... yet? There's a bot right out here we need to bring in, and uh, he goes step out and look out. Hey, did you take our bots? Oh, what well, box? I we didn't see a box. I just saw a bot right here. Oh, well, I'm sure I don't know, but, um, yeah, I haven't seen a box, but have you seen Samuel? He's little, black, black hair, big old eyes, very friendly. he will go to anyone, really. You know, and that doesn't surprise him. me. He probably just What's follows Samuel? I mean, are you talking about a kid? Well, yes, he's a kid. He's my, he's my child of sorts, yes. I, I miss him greatly. Have you have you seen him? Roll, roll a persuasion check. Straight roll, no disadvantage, no advantage or anything. Okay. Twenty one. He's an older dude. He's a butler. He's all about like being nice to people, but even though he knows he shouldn't, he escorts you into the foyer. Or the, uh, po the parlor. Thank you so much. We've been so distraught, haven't we, dear? So he escorts you through these doors into this room. As you come out, it startles you because you see this person right here. See this person standing right here. And you're quite taken back because she looks like a uh, member of Veth up here. Uh, you know, uh, 
the Duke of uh, pretty much the one y'all been looking for. And then the butler says, oh, don't worry about that. She likes to have it there to startle the uh, patrons when they come in. That's just a, that's just a wax statue. That's not really her. Let's mm -hmm. get it. I would like to do an insight check. Roll an insight check. Okay. Ooh, dang, that was almost a good roll. Nine. I believe he's telling the truth. Okay. You have no reason to lie. Yeah, of course not. All right, and y'all come in here, and there's two chairs. I'm assuming y'all adjust your show over you for to sit down. I'll, uh, I'll have a look around. Uh, I'm going to stay here, and he looks... This Walks through. These uh, imps are no longer here now. Just go behind him and walks off. Uh, holy hell, I can't believe that worked. Okay. So, uh, are we, is it still our turn? Yep. Uh, no, you did a side check. Oh, uh, go to the next people. Oh, uh, Andreas, you're still a box. And now these, all the guards have come up now. I'm trying to figure out how to, let's just smoke bond. How long does the smoke bond last? You had it, right? No idea. I was asking Andreas, you had it. You're muted. I don't know. I never saw how long it lasted. I'm gonna roll a d4. Oh. Two more turns of lasting. All right. Uh, so they're trying to figure out how to get see where everything went. They can't really see. What are you doing, uh, Dominos? I will be super brave and sit in my box. Okay. Uh, oh, was you still walking? Still petting Shadow? Hands in the jail cell? Alan. Eventually, it's your turn. You see him go open up this like secret door and walk into this room and shut it behind him. Is there any way to tell that it's a secret door from the outside? If you get up close to it and um, you know, do a, a proper investigation check. So I, I might mark, can I like mark into the wall just a little X so that if anyone else follows in, they, they'll be able to find it? Sure. Just so, so like where I saw him open the door, I'm just going to take out a dagger and just like carve an X into the wall. Uh Roll a stealth check. Disadvantage. Oh, so that's with disadvantage. Okay. Oh, dear. You're doing it over a door he just walked through. It's going to make noise. Twelve. You hear walking back towards the door. Okay, I'm Here. going to. Yes, I'm sure. going to walk a little bit further down the corridor, sort of on the other side of the door, and again just flat again, so we'll and hope for the best. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open the door, look out, <laughs> shuts the door back. Okay. Uh. All right, my lovely ladies. Still sitting there, and he's walked off. Um, he didn't really say much. He said, just sit here, and I'll be back. All right, so we're alone, then. It was the same. All right. What should we do? Well, 
we can either sit here and wait, or if you want, I mean, I can try to sneak around and see what we can find. See if I can at least figure out where they took uh, Melody. Um, yeah, the big guy. Okay. Well, all right, I'll, uh, I've got you back. And I'll just try and, like, listen for footsteps. Like, I'll just try and be a lookout. Listen okay. for him coming back. Which room are we in? The big one where the imps were? Uh, I think we're in the room with the red chair. Like, in the lower right room. I think we're in there. Looks like our mini- oh no wait. You're right here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. so we are in the red chair room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so can I just like <laughs> peek my head out of the door to make sure it's kind of clear before sneaking Which out? Store? You got one right here and you got one <laughs> right here. Um, The one in front of us, in front of us. So the one with the long table. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, make sure it's clear before, you know, walking in. Uh, you're just seeing nothing in there. You see, like, a couple of blood spots, but it's kind of weird. You, you see the same stuff I described to Domino's. All right, I'm going to walk into that room just so that way it's slowly moving through the house. And just kind of like quietly, almost close the door behind me. I'm gonna. As you enter, scene three, oh. imps jump yeah. down. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> How could you forget about the ceiling imps? <laughs> well, technically, you didn't know about them, right? Yeah, yeah technically, I didn't yeah. know. So you know. <laughs> Oh, well, roll initiative. Uh. It, should I roll initiative as well? I mean, she didn't even close the door and sees the imps jump down, so and if you want to be in this fight. Let's fight with me, please. More hands. <laughs> Three. Well for us. Seven. Ugh. You this got is seven? Not well for us. Yes. And Greenlea? Three. Awesome. Uh, Dara, you have how much health? 37. Same. All right, yeah. Alrighty. Imp A. Hopefully, you know. He jumps down. Back you while well, you're still. They're pretty much all going to jump down. Intruders! I'm going to attack you. Eighteen. That hits. Uh, I take seven points of damage and Constitution saving throw. How much? One moment, that's just a regular 20, right? Yeah. It's a DC save 11, con save. Oh, you hit your constitution saving throw. Oh my god. 
<laughs> or okay. you take 10 points of poison damage. Yeah. Oof. Mm -hmm. so the other one's going to attack you. Uh, does a nine hit? Uh, a 14 hit on the, th the third one attacks? Yes, yeah, the 13 hits. Attack uh, tower. Uh, you take eight points of damage and make another con save. 20. I'll take this uh, all points of damage. You take six of poison damage. What's your total health now? 14. Oh, that's right, I did. <laughs> all righty. Uh, you're up, Adara. I'm gonna use my dimension cloak and uh, get the hell out of there. You just leave, just going by yourself? I'm just going back to the other room out of sight of those damn things. Oh, the door's wide open. Oh, never mind. I'm running back through the door. I'm not playing with those things. No, thank you. I've learned my lesson. Uh, you do realize you get three opportunities of attack on you if you run out of their area. Not use your action to disengage. Um, yeah, actually, I'll use my action to disengage. Thank you. I didn't even think about that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not Why even. The yeah. All right, you run back through. Uh, -huh. uh Granlia. I'm gonna try and close the door behind her. Pull it closed. Whoopsie there. Going back that way. How to open doors? That's the question. Oh wait, I know what that was. Never mind. Alrighty, for the moment, combat is over. Um, why don't we just look around this room? Yeah, I think it's safe if we stay in here for a little bit. I'll go listen for the inevitable footsteps probably heading toward us. All right, uh, Dominus. <laughs> and the guy's still around there, like looking. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I think I would stay in my box if I can distract him them all for a bit like longer. I think it's good for everyone. Well, uh, smoke uh, cloud dissipates hmm. on his box. They don't remember what's there, but they. We'll go check uh, in the. Armory. Pull up his name real quick. Got his name. Oh, um. Sarvinda! You see me running here? You can hear that he's a pretty old man. He's like, uh, no, I hear a lot of ruckus out there. You mean to tell me you see nobody in here? No. Huh. Well, let us know if you do. Okay. Now you shut the door. All righty. 
Uh, Elwood's still walking. Yeah, I'm not telling Shadow about my, my life back home before I met up with the party. Uh, Mouse is still walking. Uh, Al, uh, Alan. Uh, what are you doing, Fallon? Still. Um. Okay, so so the, I I saw the door that he went through. Did, did it look like I could open it if I wanted to? Uh, you, cool. that would be like a check. Okay, so so without opening it, can I just sort of inspect it just to check, see if I could, see if there's like a hidden button or something or something that thing. Me investigation check. Oh my god. That was so close to being a 19. Four. Oh no. Uh oh, I don't even have to go look for the you now. Uh, yeah, you can't find exactly where he, uh, you know, he touched a wall somewhere to trigger it, but you're, you're not sure. Okay. So in that case, I can't do anything here. I might go back to the guards. I might go walk back to where the guards are and see if I can help get people to escape. You can walk back over there. Mm hmm. Are right, you walk back over? Two guards are still standing there. Um, uh, back to our lovely ladies. Um. Well, oh, I need it. Well, um, has our friend the old man come back yet, or are we still waiting on him? Yeah. No, he's not come back yet. But All you can right. hear walking upstairs. I'm gonna quickly like you're like an old house that's creaking, like you know above you. I'm gonna quickly cast uh, cure wounds to um, you're down quite a bit, right? So yeah. All right, I'll do it at second level. Does that make you drop a? Uh, no, it's self? not. No, it's not. Um, not invisibility. Concentration. All right. Okay. 15, 15 hit points back to you. And All then, right. um, is the door, is the window locked? Like, is that a possible escape route through the window? Are you going to try? Well, I just want to look at it first. And see if it's openable. Yeah, it opens. All right. Uh, Maybe we just run out the window. Well, yeah, if we could, you know. Oop. All right. I try and I try and climb out the window. Uh. Alrighty, I roll. Stealth check. Stealth check. Okay. Fourteen. Hey, get out. Eh, not too much issue. She coming too? Yep, I'm going to follow right behind her. Okay. And then we're all headed to. I'm running out the door, right? We're yep, we're going right out the gate. All right, we're, we're going to make a run for it. This one? Yep, yep. the open one. Still got these. Oh, you don't know that. Turn. I guess a little bit of smoke still left. And he's kind of coughing it out. And he doesn't pay attention to you guys running out. Ooh. Alrighty. How us? Look at a bunch of guys standing around trying to figure out what's going on. They're kind of talking to myself. You see where he go? No, did you? Where he go? Mm. Oh no, give me a high or low. Uh, high. 67. They don't kick the pots. All right, continue. Whew. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm bringing that back. <laughs> um. Can I see the door on the other side of the of the? Of see that's open. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that's open. Wide open. They left it open. Ran out. I can use my um, thaumaturgy and make it shut, like slamming shut. Easy enough. What's the range on that? Uh, it doesn't have any range. Okay. Uh, so it's even anything what well, I see. I think as long as you can see it, actually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it shuts. Like with a loud slam. Get a higher low again. Higher or low. Hi. These two see it. Hey, or these three see it, and they, we're gonna check that out. All right, these guys kind of walk over this way. Mm. All righty. Oh, what you're still walking, talking to a Shadow. Oh, this is still locked up. Worries. Alan, you still keeping out of sight, out of shadow, out of mind. Um. So am I? Am I in front of the corridor with the guards? Oh yeah, you're about the. Yeah, yeah, you are. I forgot that's where you went. Okay. I, I'll tell you what. I don't think I can. I can leave Meliodas in there alone. Um. I think I'm going to need to do a bit of a prison break. And I know that this quest is going to lead, lead me uh, searching for blood. So I think now's the time that I reach into the bag of holding that I stole from Grenlia and I take out the dagger. Uh, and I walk towards the I walk towards the guards, still invisible, some flecks of red in my eyes as I as I know that, that today is a day that I am going for blood. Uh, I feel this this necrotic energy sort of surge through my veins as I grip this dagger and still invisible walking towards the guards with, with a normal dagger in my left hand and this cursed dagger in my right. I throw a dagger at one of the guards that, that are guarding the door, uh, that, that are guarding the, the, uh, the prison cells. Okay. Uh, so do I, do I get advantage with that? Because it's, because I'm- Sure. Invisible. Cool. You just break your invisibility by doing it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I get actually. So that was only eleven, but I then get a third one because of my uh, the feat I took. which is a 22 to hit. You pull up a guard stack because I was not prepared for you to do this. <laughs> hey, yeah, that hits. Good. Roll that beautiful damage. I just thought if I can't get into Amaric, I've got to do something. I can't. Uh, so that is plus a D. I forgot how many dice I had to roll when I did this. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got 11, and then I also get sneak attack damage. Well, he's definitely dead. Okay. You only had um, 11 hit points, so your initial attack, as you you said, you throw it or it just went up and stabbed him in the face? I throw it as I'm sort of running down this corridor um, because I don't want to use my unarmed strike to attack yeah. a second time with my... Uh, just normal dagger. Okay. Um, so I, I won't get advantage on that because the first attack gets yep. rid of invisibility. But you still have your uh, inspiration. Ah. Uh, you want to use it. use it. Okay, okay uh, so I use that. So I'll roll again. Uh, so using my inspiration, roll again. 
Well, you, it's, a, it's an advantage. You don't re-roll it. Yeah. Uh, so it is 11 to hit. No, that misses. As you make an at, you throw this dagger, but since you're not attuned to it yet, so you can't retract it, Okay. If you stab him, um, you pull it out, and as you go to end and hit with your other dagger, the little guy's just caught off guard and kind of stumbles back, and you just miss him. Mm -hmm. He comes to attack you. Uh, a 14 hit. No, it does not. As he's like startled, he misses. Uh, it's your turn to attack. Never in theater of minds, I'll just take this off. Greenly, I'm going back to the main screen. Okay, so I can can I grab the uh the cursed dagger that's still in the yep. that's in the dead guy? So I'm gonna grab that and then make a swing. Yep. Oh, not great most of them. Uh that's a nine to him. Nine to hit? No, yeah. that misses. As you come in, to us and you're out having a tussle, and you're kind of tripping over the body you just, like, brutally murdered. And he comes back for an attack. Uh, I'm sure that misses. Nine plus five, that is 14. Yeah, that misses. All right, and he misses with his spear, so your turn. We're just sitting there dancing together. <laughs> Pretty much dancing. You're tripping over this dude's body. Put up your dick beaters. Let's go. 15. 15 just misses. As he cling, he clings right off his shields, or his shield in his chain mail. And he comes back for an attack. 15 hit. Oh, I'm sorry. 16 hit. Yeah, 16 misses. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I cannot do math today. No, that's 14 again. Never mind. That misses. All right, your turn. <laughs> yeah, I see. It's like it's a little dark down here for him, and he's just like he's just baffled what's going on. Somebody he's, just appeared. I just got nine again. Roll with advantage. Okay. No, no. I've just got nine again. <laughs> oh. Mighty nine, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, uh, he he's going to attack you. Oh, you rolled a two. He's missing. So your turn. Attack again. As you feel this power starting to rush over you. At 16. That barely hits. Roll your damage. Okay. Mel, let's give me a perception check. Eight points of damage. He's messed up. He's almost down. So, and then I also rolled the aquatic damage on top of that. Oh, you got to roll on top of that? That's so another four. Oh, that bar that barely kills him. And as you stab him in a juggler with this, you see the energy flowing from the blade busts out his head, and he falls down to the ground, and you can feel the blade light up like it used to light up when you killed somebody. And a faint there's a faint smirk that comes across my face as I feel this power coming back. All right. And he drops to the floor. I rolled a six, uh, by the way. Hey, you don't hear this. Those stone walls are too thick. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, so I, I'm going to go over, because I saw them take down Melio. So I'm going to go to the prison cell and see if I can find him. Uh, well, there's another door you got to get through first. Oh. They're standing okay, so in front of the door. Prison cells are behind that door. Okay. Your so, camera falls, Jugan. Huh? Your camera froze. 
Awesome. Well, at that point, let's uh, we'll we'll go to break there so I can adjust that, and uh, we'll be back. Welcome back. Uh, we're back from my break. Uh, Mel Otis, you don't need to roll a high perception check to see this. On the inside, the actual prison guard is a bearded devil, which has is a devil with a uh, green like uh, snakes coming from a beard. He's the one that's actually in charge of the jail cells. He is, uh, if you choose to talk to him, I can learn his name or something, but if I can, I'll show you what he looks like real quick, actually. Okay. All right, I'm going to share what he looks like. This is what he looks like. Oh, uh, this is who is guarding your prison cells. Is it only him? Only him. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Oh, oh, we're not supposed to see that. No. Oh, well, whatever. I no, didn't see that first. I didn't see it well enough to see the advantages and disadvantages anyways. All right. Alright, um, so at this point, you know, I'm contemplating how everyone else is doing and seeing as how I have not heard the doors open uh, really much to clue me into someone else coming in. Uh, at this point, I start chatting with the uh, fellow who's guarding my gate. Uh, so, uh, hey, uh, fella. How long have you been uh, working for these folks? I don't work for them. Well, that's interesting. Then who do you work for? Thariel. And who the hell is that? And do you not know who Sariel is? No. Why don't you clue me in? She's who I work for. The Archdevil of Avernus. Oh, well that's interesting. I've never heard of Avernus before. Where is this? <laughs> Deception check. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh. For once, give me a good roll. Oh my Christ sakes. Oh, that's fine. He rolled a natural one, so. <laughs> Avernus, the first level of hell. Oh, okay. Uh, you hear over Now I get it. I've heard of this place before now. So, uh... Hey, that's all... Hey, hey. Are you not... Uh, you hear another voice coming from another cell. Have you not, uh, uh, uh... Heard of what you say, uh, a furnace? What kind of rock are you living under, sir? Uh, well, you know... The rock that the Order keeps me under. So, it's none of your business, good fella. Okay. Really quick, the YouTube still says be right back. Not for me. Mm, let me refresh. <laughs> yeah, refresh. Uh, 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 okay. All right. Well, um, so, fella, why don't you uh, come over? I have a name. Thing. And what's your name? Doss. Well, Thos, I'd like to discuss something with you. Uh, would you mind if I get a bit of your ear for a moment? What? Does he come closer? No. Okay. Well, do you know that these people are bad? According to who? Well, 
according to the fact that uh, the family that you're working for is known to be of bad people. So, you know, I don't know. Do you know or not? I only follow orders from Zarel. She gave me orders to work for this family. Your point? I don't Got question it. my master. Got it. Well, you know, with that being Alan, said... Alan, you uh, see this conversation happening through the cells. I don't know what you want to do. But anyway. Muted. Muted. <laughs> do, do I see any of like Meliodas' like weapons lying around, or, or are they taken it somewhere else? Nope. Do I see any kind of where any spears and all anything in this little small hallway outside the door? No. Okay. Um. Got little lanterns hanging down from each like periodically to light the hallways, but that's about it. All right. I just don't know if I'll be able to. I feel like I won't be able to take this guy on, on my own. He seems like a big dude. Um, can I just sort of poke my head in through the, the, the door just to see what's going on? You can, is there, there's an opening. You can just look through. You don't have to. Okay. Um, is it, wait, is the opening, is it a door? Can I, a, can I walk through or is it just like a small little window? You can walk through it. Yeah. It's a, a door with a window with bars in it. Okay. So could could I theoretically walk up to the the to the thus? No. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I uh, I'm probably gonna seriously regret this, but while I'm here, <laughs> while I'm here, is, is stuck in a in a prison cell, and um, while he's distracted, while thus is distracted, um, does he sort of have his back to me? No, he's standing sideways. He's looking at his, his sail or um, Domino's is that. He's staring right there and the door is right here. So he, he can see anybody coming in and out the door. So you won't have any advantage on him. Okay. E even if I don't, even if I just sort of lean around a corner and just instantly throw the dagger. I mean, I just have you roll initiative. If you go first, you go first. Okay. Um. You set up this thing up real quick. Is, is that what you're doing? Well, I, I, I get like, it doesn't feel like I can, but I don't know what other choice I have. No one else seems to be joining. You're asking for a surprise round. You will not get it because you can see the door in MLS's. Is... Okay. Um, and what, would there be a way, like, if I like threw a stone down the corridor? And he sort of went to investigate the sound. Would I be able to sort of get a surprise round as he walked through the, the open doorway? <laughs> it depends on where you're at, I guess. But I think I'll just go. I'll There'll just, be a number yeah. of chats for that. Um, I'll just go in and fight him. And if I need to disengage and run away, I will. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and roll for initiative. I, I've got that. you open the door. Oh, yo. Brings his spear down. I'm going to be the last person you see on this planet. <laughs> I want a money initiative, yeah? Okay, your funeral. All right, roll initiative. I'm holding this dagger for like five minutes and instantly I'm just fighting everyone I see. Uh, 19. Oh, nice. Don't need a surprise round now, do you? Hmm? Uh, what's your total health point right now? Uh, 36. All right. You're up. Got this. I feel like I'm so Unless as you see <laughs> Fallon walk in, you see this dagger in his hand. That you thought was in the bag of holding. Then you see the bag of holding around his uh, body. What the hell, Fallon? How did you get that? That was an eight to hit. An eight that misses. That was 
Yeah. I, I, you, you kind of stumble going through the door and you try to hit him with it and you just kind of stumble as you're going through the door. Alrighty. He returns back with his. Uh, 15 hit. Uh, well, my AC is 15, so. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You take. You take seven points. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 10 points of damage, and you have to give me a constitution saving throw DC 12. Starting to think I used my inspiration a little bit too early. <laughs> oh my god, at nine. Oh. You take five points of damage and you see this wound faster open. Like, partner, deep, actually. Your turn. Okay. Um, wait, is is Melio just? Can he not do any kind of like spells from his? I was just about to ask that too. You is can. In... Okay, because I was gonna say I was looking at my spells and spell slots, and I was looking at the fact that I didn't use any yet. Um, All right. So yeah, I'll let you be a last. I didn't in the know turn order. because he had initiative at like there in battle if. if I'm close enough to be able to. I'll allow it. Go ahead. Nice. Just so I don't. <laughs> you'll just be going after the, the bearded devil. Me? Yeah. Just go ahead. Oh. Take your turn. If you're going to cast a spell, you just can't take any melee attacks. Okay. Sweet. Um. <clears throat> so. <sighs> well, I can't. Um, I can't do that. Uh, oof. Wow, each of these require like a, a weapon attack. I can't do... Uh... You have spells. Go to your spells tab. Yeah, I'm looking at my spells. I'm looking at my... I'm going to manage the spells. <clears throat> you have plenty of concentration spells you can cast. I know, I know, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's one you'd be really helpful right about now. That you made water for. I know, it's the holy water. Well, I can't touch him! You don't have to touch him. It says... It's cure wounds, isn't it? No, no, bless. Oh. Bless, you do not have to touch him, you just... You can oh, bless up to three people. How much damage did he take? Uh, yeah. yeah. How it's much damage 15. did you take? Fifteen. Five, yeah. right? It was ten, and then another five. Yeah, fifteen ten total. And another five out of thirty-six. That uh, puts you at twenty-one. Mm -hmm. And it was there was no poison, no fight, like no extra. No, but uh, you can you can see a visible wound is like opened up, and it looks bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna cast a bless on him. Using up one of my slots here. What does that do? Also, that's one of them. Uh, oh, that's gonna miss. I ain't worried about that. Now, uh, bless gives you one d four on your saves and your attacks. So, just whenever you do an attack or a save, just remember to add a one d four to it. And it's your turn. Ooh. So I'm going to attack him one last try, and if this goes poorly, I will have to just run away. Uh, so that's a 16, but I haven't rolled my 20 to roll a d4 on top of that. Well, 16 is enough as it is, so you can roll okay. your damage. Uh, 
Uh, I don't get sneak attack from Meliodas, do I? No. Because he's not engaged with them. Yeah. So, nice. so he's got a, it, it's a concentration up to one minute, so he can do it with every attack, doesn't he? Can't he? Yeah. With, uh, Each with round is six seconds, so it's good up for 10 rounds. So seven points total damage. Yeah. I mean, he could have added the four, right? The 1d4? Yeah, the 1d4 is for his attack, not his damage. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Bearded Devil, going to come and attack you. First one. You got that. I miss this. All right. Um, I should have told you this. So, the wound that is open, you can take an action DC twelve. To it's a wisdom check. Uh, to see if you can close up the wound. So, since I forgot to tell you that, I'll let you have that free action. Give me a DC wisdom saving throw. Plus a D four. No, it's not a save. It's just a check, a medicine check. Uh, cool. Uh, 18. All right, you're able to successfully close up the wound, so he, he doesn't get extra damage off this. And he does and he misses. So he comes in and misses. He's kind of distracted by the spell Melodis cast, and it's Melodis' turn. Um, the, how far away is uh, Fan from me? About uh, 10 feet. Oh. Yeah. How many? Uh, yeah. How, how many feet? About 10 how, feet. About 10 feet. Okay. So they, did they remove all of my actual armor and, and weapons? They removed your shield and your spear. Now that left me with my dagger, did it not? Did they search me? High or low? Hi. I'll give it to you. It was a 50. You're right on a 50. <laughs> I'll give it to you. It's high. <laughs> so they're, they're more worried about getting you locked up. They didn't do a for their little pat down. So Yes! Ah, I'm going to throw my dagger at him. <laughs> All right. Let Roll that out. attack. <laughs> Roll it. I ought to give it to you disadvantage because you get bars. You're like this. <laughs> true. True. Actually, you're right. I wouldn't. Well, you could stick your arm through and try to do this. I'll, I'll, I'll let you have a straight roll. Here we go. Straight roll. Let's do it. Hold that beautiful bean footage. Let's go. Now. You didn't see that. Ding, 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 ding. Hits the back of the wall. He's like... I guess I'm going to worry about disarming you of that. It goes right back to... I mean, <laughs> it was worth a try. Alan, you're up. Damn it. You're muted. I, I, I'm <laughs> not near... I'm not near Meliodas yet. Can I sort of... Is there a way that I can move around so that I would be near... Yeah, you can. Right, so I'm going to move around so I can hit him so that he can touch me if he needs to for, for any of his spells. Um, and I'm just going to take a stab at this devil. Okay. Roll the attack. I have no idea <laughs> if, if this is even possible. Let's do this. We got this. I got your back. Don't forget your D4. Yeah. Um, In round, bro. Isn't that one? <laughs> Uh, uh, as you try to go slash at him and uh, you miss, uh, as you're trying to shift over, you completely miss and you knock a piece of the wall out with a rock. But thankfully, the dagger you have is magical, so it takes no damage. 
Uh, he's going to attack you. Natural 19, that definitely hits. Uh, you take six points of damage. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Eight points of damage as these the beers come out and bite you on the side of the face. And you have to give me a DC 12 constitution saving throw. You can add your D4 to it. It's 10 so far, so I need to. Yeah, you need, uh, need at least two. Okay. With the way I've been rolling today. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, four. So, 14 dead. All right, you're not poisoned. Good job. Second attack with his uh, glaive. Oh, he misses. He rolled a natural four. As he's so excited, but his beards bit you. They kind of like forms like snakes and. He was thrown off. All right, Metal Otis. Yes. So, Fallon is now close enough to me, right? <clears throat> yep. And if I remember correctly, 21, and then he's down to 21, and he just took eight damage? Yep. So I'm around 13. All right. Cool. Um, from here, I'm, I'm just basically letting him know to stick close to me. I've got his back uh, if things get hairy until he can get me out of this cage. And if he can get me out of this cage, we're going to take this guy down, period. So what are you doing for your action? I'm, uh... Casting the cure wounds? Well, I mean, he's in range now, so I I, I can actually cast the cure wounds, not, yeah. not a bless. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Bless is already active. Yeah, so I'm going to cure wounds. So a creature that I touch regains a number of hit points equal to 1d8 plus my spell casting ability modifier. Uh, this spell has no effect on undead and, or on uh, constructs. So 1d8. Ba -ba -ba. Roll, roll, roll. Waiting for it. Four. Yeah, four hit points back. Oh, plus yeah. what? Plus my spell casting. So, um, uh, well, where's my spell casting? Uh, yeah, you, you know you can cast it from your spells. You know, it automatically does it. Oh, okay. Um, why well, didn't add the spell casting? That's why you didn't cast it from your spells. If you go to cure wounds and hit cast it'll do it automatically oh okay let me redo that sure man yeah all right dude you might get a higher one thank you <laughs> or <a> lower <laughs> one. Like low one it's it's casting it wait for it wait for it or not i pressed cast it took the spell slot but it didn't roll anything Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah, I know. Six. See, it's set, set points back. I think it was going to be that anyway, right? No, it was going to be four though, on the first roll. It didn't four. add the two uh, spell casting. Yeah, I know. It had been six total anyway. All right. Yeah. All right. So you got six health points back there, Thalen. You feel a little revive from tear. And it's your turn. Um, could I turn around and try picking the lock while I'm being, while there's bearded demon right in front of me? Uh, I will say this if you want to, he'll get advantage on you. Well, I, well, can I not? Try picking the lock, and then as a bonus action, you can probably give your. Away. You can probably. I'll let you give your lock picking kit to Bell Otis. 
could do that as a bonus action and not allow that, and he can pit the lock himself. Yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll don't tell me what to do. No, no, I'll do that, I'll do that. <laughs> but you just did. No, it sounds like a... Right, so fine. So I'll, I'll hand Melio just my lock-breaking gear, and All then right, I'll just uh, take a swing. Yep. Thanks, mate. Stay close to me, though. And so I'm going to start trying to pick the lock. Okay, that's 21 to hit. Yeah. Yeah, because I want to start getting sneak attack damage on this guy, so I want Melio to out and like, grappling him or something. Uh, so, that is... Ooh, 15 damage. Ooh, as you take a nice, nice hunk out of his streams at a point... <laughs> And as he stumbles back, he is not looking, he's not happy right now. He's, he's hurting as he stumbles back. You see, standing in the doorway, what have we here? Oh. Throg, take a break. I got this. Oh, shit. As you see in the door, you see Amrick. What have we here? And he sees a dagger in hand. I have not seen that dagger in years. Last time I saw that dagger, I ripped that girl's throat out and stabbed with it. Are you that scrawny little kid that got away from me? I've been looking for you my entire life. This is... And I looked at the dagger in my hand. It was you. And I just sprint towards him. Awesome. Let's finish what I started years From ago. From behind him as he's running. No, Thalon, don't! <laughs> I need you close! Uh, the, the, the only thing that I'm aware of at the minute is me and Amrick. I, I, the, the outside world has gone to me. I have complete tunnel vision. Am I close to picking the goddamn lock? Roll a. Uh, <laughs> you're not proficient in it. So. Do I get with, lucky? Roll a d20 with disadvantage. Oh, God damn it. And, um. Let me edit encounter. <laughs> All right. Uh, there you go. Uh, do I have an auto roll on here with disadvantage on the left side? It says to everyone. And right, roll your attack, Alan. Can I have advantage just because I'm so pissed? <laughs> I should give you disadvantage because you're attacking recklessly. Excuse me. <laughs> let's, let's call it even. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's keep a straight roll. <laughs> 18. As you come in to hit, he catches it. and he, You have enough force. You build some damage in his uh, arm. Roll your damage. That 
is 13 damage. Total? Yeah. As you stab it up. Just let me feel that rage. And he comes in. Give me a strength check. Uh, am I blessed for this? It's not a saving throw, it's a check. Uh, A dagger to hit? Dan? No, it was... So I couldn't figure out the whole, uh, this, like, roll a d20. It's a, basically, it just roll a d20 out of your debts modifier. It's basically what you're doing. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I don't know where the... All right, roll it. Uh-oh. Thank you. Uh, nine. Hold on. Can nine. You like... Computer just crashed? Yep. As, the, uh, the, as this you, screen, this screen right here. But I'll, I'll roll it while you're doing your thing over there. Yep. He grabs your hand, takes your fingers, and pry them back. He reaches up and grabs it from your hand, pulls it out of himself. He comes in for three attacks. Uh, natural 18, natural 19 is 7 plus what, what's the hit with that dagger? Uh, what the dagger is uh, what's well, finesse weapon so it's plus your dex modifier. Uh, uh, the third one doesn't it doesn't make it so it's a d4 plus 1d8 right? It's yeah a d4 plus dex plus 1d8 Six, by the way. Hey, you don't break. You don't break the lock. Take nine points of damage. Plus uh, six necrotic damage as he stabs you twice, and he teases you with the third one. Sees you at a disadvantage. What well, health are you at? At four. Your turn. You still have the other dagger in your hand, the non special one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to. I don't know if I'm still so hopeless at this point. This is uh, the man that I've been chasing all my life, and he's just completely taken away any leverage I had. So I just take this pathetic non cursed dagger. And I just slash wildly at him. Okay. Uh, that is 14 to hit. And if that doesn't hit, I can roll lethal. Uh, 14? No, that misses. Okay, so I'll roll my d4. Or are you wearing d4 for? Uh, for bless. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's eighteen. Eighteen barely hits. Okay. And that deals five damage. Pathetic little knife dab. You really think that's enough to kill me? One's a natural 20.
to attack, you take. Well, actually, the first attack, take five points of damage. It's your unconscious, correct? Mm hmm. That's when you lose two death saving throws automatically. The other one comes in, says, You ready to meet your sister? You will pay for this. You'll pay in time. As it stabs right in the side of your neck, blood spears out, throat unrips out, and you fall lifeless in his arms. At this point, can I have everybody turn off their mics, their headsets? Uh, Jenny, I'll be going to another screen, but y'all can see possibly something that y'all magic in those. So. And everybody take off their headsets. Valen. You can keep yours on. All right, Valen. As you start floating the power through the dagger it sends you into this a furnace of iron seats setting right there on top of this person or on top of this chair you see this person at the right mouth Somebody finally reached me. You've brought me so many souls. I welcome you with open arms. And as you see him sitting next to his altar, somebody you have not seen for so long. Your sister. Comes running up. Gives you a hug. Welcome, brother. I missed you so long. You, I, 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 I can't do this for you. Uh, you, are you safe? Are you, are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, of course he's fine. Now, <laughs> you get to work for me. In my furnace, building more magical items like the one you've been wielding for years, sending me souls. But you are the highest agree. And welcome to your everlasting hell. But I can guarantee more pleasurable than others because you've sent me so much help. And that's where we end it. Thank you, Thalon, for playing with us. Um, let me uh, get everybody back on. Everybody can put their headsets back on. Everybody, if y'all can carry me, give me a thumbs up. Sadly, I this saw is, this motion right here that told me that everybody else should put their headphones back on. And yeah. that tells me to turn my volume back up. <laughs> well, at this time, this was uh, Toby Fallon's last session. He may or may not return at a later date. But we decided to give this character ending a, how you want to decided to give it an ending where he can possibly come back maybe later if he decides to come back to us but this time toby uh, i want to thank you for playing with us it was been awesome been one of the better role players i've ever had in this game um if, if this time you would like to say anything the floor is yours yeah uh, thank you so much for having me um all you guys made such a great first time in D and um, i didn't realize how much fun i could have just like no, no, I mean, like the combat and the pipe are just like messing about, like doing silly shit in taverns and you know, you while shopping. Like, yeah, it's the, the big things and the little things. It's, it's just all been it's such a fun ride. 
Um, and obviously a huge thanks to, to you and for, you know, making all, all of the, the, the wheels turn, you know, in the background as well as during the session itself. Um, it's, yeah, it's just been a really great experience. And thank you everyone for, for making it yeah, be what it, what it has been. I will, I can't speak for everybody. I know for sure I'll miss you. And um, we can talk offline. But um, that'll be the end of this episode. Um, I'm not sure what the party's going to do. Everybody's in weird locations. Um, the next session should be December 4th. So I hope everything by as a, I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving holiday leave that's in the States. If you're watching other parts of the world, I know Canada's already had their Thanksgiving, but if uh, you are, hope you have great meals and um, just keep in mind, when in doubt, whip it out. <laughs>